audio jungle. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, actually, it, it was my privilege and pleasure to be here with you uh, since the first day of summer course. Um, you know that I'm an UNDB student, but uh, let me say that I never felt to be an UNDB student until I am with you here with summer course. Because, uh, you know, of COVID-19, uh, we couldn't take our um, classes of, um, offline so that most of the classes was online. Uh, so even my uh, my research was like, I did, I did it alone. I didn't uh, get in touch with my classmates in the class. Uh, so um, I say, thank Allah, thank God for being here with you because at least I feel that I joined um, UNDB student and I share them some moments uh, for my, um, during this, my, my master degree. And what was good also that the end of this, um, uh, like you say, offline summer course, I got my master degree certificate to celebrate with you. So uh, it's, a, um, it's a kind of pleasure for me and I cannot um, express what's the feeling or what is going inside me. Uh, so thank you all of you uh, for, um, sharing these good moments uh, together and i uh, i think this is not uh, um, uh, the last thing that will be together and um, i hope that one day in the future for maybe for uh, further uh, um, opportunities we can meet again and we can um, share the knowledge from our leaders and also uh, we still learning from you and also we share the uh, the good moments together thank you all of me uh, all of you and um, thank you uh, for everything. And we are sorry if there is some mistakes or something is not going well with us. And I hope we can continue until the end of this course uh, with all pleasure and all happiness that at it was started since beginning. Thank you. All right. So 
Good morning, classmates. And it's been a pleasure and a wonderful experience to be part of this summer program. And I just want to tell you a, a very quick story. So this is my very, very first international student exposure. And I'm very thankful for UNDIP for giving me the opportunity to at least, uh, what do you call it? Did I share something? So <laughs> share uh, a little bit of what I learned or share the things that my country is enjoying as of the moment. And it might be that the suggestions that I made, uh, I'm hoping that it will help you become uh, a successful urban planners in the future. So me with my age, <laughs> I'm even older than Ashok. <laughs> so, so me with my age, I'm not really, I, I, what I wanted is, you know, as much as I can, I want to uh, be, while I'm learning, wanted to guide uh, also the people that is with me so we can go up the ladder of success together. So uh, I'll be looking up at you guys and hopefully, hopefully we'll be meeting again <laughs> next year or, or soon. So again, uh, in behalf of the University of the Philippines, uh, Diliman, I would like to thank you for hosting me uh, today. Uh, and uh, this is not goodbye. So see you on the next uh, follow, uh, coming days. And now <laughs> I'm passing the mic to Nilo. Uh, okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'll keep it short but sweet. Uh, even though I didn't spend that much time here yet, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the program. I really enjoyed that we got to go in the field. Oh, should I take off my mask? Okay. Yeah, please keep you. Yeah, I think after a few years of being cooped up in our own homes, I think it was great to get out and. Uh, I'm glad that UNDIP was able to facilitate uh, such a great uh, experience so that we can uh, kind of uh, implement what we learn in the classroom and perhaps create a project that uh, could potentially be you know, hel helpful for communities here in Samarang. Uh, from my short time here, I'm also really uh, happy to see that the future of urban planning in Indonesia is bright, not just from the professor, but also from the students and uh, future workers uh, in these cities of this country. Um, yeah, and I had a lot of fun. I think I, I love doing projects. So the next few days is going to be even more fun. Uh, looking forward to working with all of you guys. All right. Thank you. I guess. Okay, let's hear it for Damien. Yeah, well, Damien, it's on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> One week ago today, I was in my apartment. I'd rented an apartment in Georgia I'm in Indonesia to work on my own private research project, which is based in Bali with a component in Georgia I was sitting having a nice cup of coffee when Professor Wiwig sent me an email with a flyer about a course in Semarang, Semarang that I'd never heard of before. Oh, I've heard of the city, I mean the course at Undip saying, why don't you come and do this course with us next starting Monday? Um, I'd had a whole week planned ahead in Bali. This is Thursday evening, Thursday night. I had to cancel everything, jump in my car Friday, pack up. I had to pack up my apartment. I jumped in my car and I didn't arrive until two o'clock, 2 a.m. Monday morning. So I've only had this whole week, I've only had a few hours of sleep. It's been a crazy, and I really didn't know what to expect. My biggest fear was that I'd be way older than everyone and everyone would be mean to me. <laughs> but it turns out you've all been absolutely amazing. I was a bit scared of the whole Indonesian university experience. I've, I've heard some scary stories about how tough it can be in Indonesian universities. So I wasn't really sure what to expect at all, but it's just been an absolutely breathtakingly amazing experience. My fellow classmates have been so kind and generous and helpful and providing not just the translation but going helping me for i was lost the first day i got lost um my classmates directed me via google map link on how to get here just little things like that 
made such a huge difference uh, to me personally. And the field sites we visited, I mean, the first field site, um, we're seeing the first ever, well, maybe not the first ever, we're seeing climate refugees. These are, this experience, it's, look, the, what they're experiencing here in Simarang is going to be an increasingly, increasingly common problem across the world. So the experiences we're gaining and you are gaining here as part of your courses are immediately and directly applicable to the wider world, not just here in Simarang. Everywhere across the tropics is facing catastrophic climate change and tropical urban spaces are going to be the most impacted spaces in the world. It's not the rainforests or the islands necessarily, it's the populate, populated spaces that need amazing people like you guys um, to help them. So in conclusion, I just wanna say I've been fantastic and I really appreciate all your help. Thank you very much.